I'm Melissa. And I'm Jennifer. And we love, love to watch John T's vlogs on Facebook. Hey guys, it's day 136 from my vlogs on Facebook. And I'm John T. And it's 423. And we're going to go feed the puppies. Uh, kind of not too bad of a day out. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Rams, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. We're going. We're going to go eat. Come on. So, <clears throat> we're going to go uh, eat here and feed the pups, and then we're going to go uh, play in the computer. So, I think today's going to be spent in the office, but we'll hit you back here in a second and see where it is. Okay? Hey guys, I'm back from feeding the pups. Um, okay, well, today was kind of a screw up day. I just uh, was tired, so I was dragging out, so I just, you know, basically hung out in the office. But a couple things here, real quickly. Um, one, I'm going to be out doing a love, a love taxi, video love taxi this weekend. So if we're looking for a thousand love stories. So if you have a, a love story you'd love to share with uh, about something that happened in Kansas City, please send me a text and hit me up. So, um, That'll both be Friday and Saturday. Uh, the second thing I, I wanted to uh, talk to you about is the Ted Williams story. It was last week I said the Ted Williams thing was one, fake, and then two, I didn't believe he was clean and sober for two years. And as we found out this week, it was a real story, but he has not been clean and sober. But, you know, the, the thing that I think that's uh, really kind of interesting about all this is a couple things that we need to understand. It's one, is the power of YouTube. You can literally go from being a zero to a hero. And Ted didn't really understand that. He was standing on the street corner thinking that he could do some quick voiceover work and make a couple hundred bucks and then go on a bender and get his drugs and alcohol. And what happened is the power of the YouTube took over. And he didn't understand that. And then he became a hero. Well, when he became a hero, his plan shifted to, okay, I'll make a million dollars and then tell the world to go to hell, and then I will be in a bender for the rest of my life, and that will just be wonderful. But what happened was that the people that invested in him, Entertainment Tonight, the Dr. Phil show, has said, no, we're going to exploit this guy and make money with him, and we need him, so we will, we're going to go and get him straightened out. So they've sent him to a place called Oriad that's supposed to be the very best of the best, and they've never had anything. However, I don't think they've ever dealt with a guy with an animal like Ted yet. So we'll see if they can really get him straightened out and clean and sober. Um, the, you know, his day is not over with yet. But I, I think the thing that's really important to understand about this whole s s scenario is that the fact that he, that alcoholism and drug, drug addiction does not discriminate. Doesn't matter if you're rich. Doesn't matter if you're poor. Doesn't matter if you're middle class. Doesn't matter if you're super smart. Doesn't matter if you're super stupid. It will get you if you have the gene. And Ted's got a gene pretty strong. And he's a very smart guy, but he's got a big big monkey on his back. So um, I think that's the thing we need, need to understand. I don't understand addiction completely. I don't understand it. The only thing, I'm not really addicted to drugs or alcohol. Never have been. I'm sure I never will be. The only thing I'm really addicted to is naked women. But I tell you what, I want the comment of the question of the day is going to be, what... What do you think is going to be the biggest addiction that we're going to deal with in the next 10 years? Um, drugs or alcohol is the question. Do you think we'll have more alcoholics or more drug addicts? Um, you can leave it the comments down below um, for those of you who watch. So just let me know what you think, whether we're going to have more alcoholics or more drug addicts. Um, I hate to tell you this, I think we're going to have more, my opinion is, we're going to have more, gonna have more alcoholics. Um, so anyway, uh, all that being said, I'm going to conclude day 136 in Kansas City and Facebook land. You guys have a great Friday, and I'm John T., and we're out. Hey, this is Miller, and I love to watch John T.'s vlogs on Facebook.